these children? What's a swear word or two? When does that hurt anybody? Well, I think somebody else has rolled up, and um, so I have great pleasure in handing the microphone over to somebody who I know can handle it very well. David? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Uh, it's about 20 years ago now that I began to understand not just the scale of paedophilia and child abuse and child abduction and all the rest of it, but the people and the level, cesspit level, known as the elite level of our society, which is driving it. It was uh, in the 90s that I started uncovering Father George Bush as a monumental paedophile and child killer, serial child killer. I've gone on American radio and said it many times, I've said it in my books, and I'm still waiting for a reply. Then in this country, I realized through talking to his victims, those that survived, that people like Ted Heath, the British Prime Minister between 1970 and 74, was a child-killing paedophile. When I said that in a book in 1998, the journalist rang him, read the passage, and I never heard another word. Why? Because it's true. And we need to understand that this child abuse, this paedophilia, this systematic stealing of children from loving parents by state social services networks is not happening in isolation from the network and structure that holds billions of people in servitude to the few. It is fundamentally connected for this reason. This world is not controlled directly by prime ministers and presidents and heads of the World Bank and secretary generals of NATO. These are pawns, these are front men. Not very nice, but still pawns and front men, gophers. This world is controlled by a network of families, very few, under different names, that sit in the center of a structure of secret societies that operate like a transnational corporation. If you look at the structure of a transnational corporation, you have a headquarters somewhere in the world. And then in each country, you have the subsidiaries of that headquarters. Each subsidiary has the same shop front, the same corporate logo, the same uh, way of doing things. And they run their operations in the different countries in line with the diktats from the center, the headquarters. This world is controlled by a network of secret societies that operate in exactly the same way, controlled by this network of interbreeding families. And Minty was absolutely right. At the heart of it, at the center of it, at least in the human realm, shall we say, is the house of Rothschild in America and wider across the world, Rockefeller, and so many of these other uh, major uh, corporate banking names, including the shower down here in Buckingham Palace, by the way. <laughs> and so we have this network of secret societies whereby the center, and it's in Europe, dictates to the networks in each country and they run their country and change their country in line with the diktat from the center, the spider. As a result, I've been to 50 countries researching this over 20 years and as a result, I see exactly the same structure, exactly the same things going on, exactly the same legislation being introduced to take freedom away and children away, almost worded the same sometimes. And this is why it's globally structured. And because of this, the spider at the center can manipulate down through the different levels of the web right into your local community. Now this is the connection. These families and the agents that they put into office are overwhelmingly connected to satanic, ritual and paedophile rings. 
they have an insatiable demand for children. And this is why I learned as the years passed through the 90s, the unbelievable, breathtaking, staggering scale of children who go missing in this world every day. Never mind every year. People have a perception of the number of children that go missing based on how many times a missing children's story appears in the local newspaper or with Madeleine McCann in the national news. That is a fraction of a fraction of a fraction ad infinitum of the number of children that go missing never to be heard of again. And many of them, tremendous numbers of them, end up in these paedophile and satanic rings. I talk to people, survivors, those who have, all over the world, enormous numbers of them. This is a global phenomenon with the blueprint played out the same way in every country. When people come to me and say, I want to tell you my story, once they start, I know what's coming. Different names, yes, but the blueprint plays out every time. And I've got seriously interested in the last few months particularly in the, uh, the gathering aspect to this child abuse and child abduction which is stealing children from loving parents by the state through the social services mafia. In the last few years, they have changed the way in which they process job applications for social services. They have done this to target certain personality types. And there'll be mothers listening to this who've had their children taken by the state who my God will understand what I'm about to say. They are targeting, recruiting, headhunting certain character types that have no empathy, no compassion, no heart, no ability to empathize with the agony beyond my comprehension of loving parents having their children who want to be with them taken away for spurious reasons thanks to the constant conspiracy between social uh, services staff, lawyers representing uh, local councils and social services, uh, judges, etc. So lacking empathy and compassion that there are more than one story, uh, stories that I've heard. Uh, one has actually appeared in a, in a national newspaper at one point recently, where the staff, having taken away a child from a loving parent, while the parents are in agony and distraught in the court, are high-fiving with each other for another great victory. Now in this country there's apparently 60 million people and growing, maybe even nearly 70 now, I don't know. In this world there are 7 billion people and growing. The number of people who are controlling this world, who are putting us in the state we are of slavery, who are taking our children away, are a tiny, tiny fraction of the people on this planet and in this country. I think I see a way out of this. We need to come together and stop cooperating with this system. Not fight it, they want us to fight it, just a few more people on the streets with weapons then. Oh, we must, we must fight the people, there's an uprising. No. This system whether it's child abuse, whether it's stealing children from loving parents, or whether it's bombing the innocent around the world for political expansion and acquisition. The number of people doing it are a tiny fraction of those who are having it done in their name. The system is held together by our acquiescence. Enough! Enough! No more! And I say this to the people in luminous jackets and the dark suits that administer this system and conspire to some of them to take children away. You have no power. Your power is not in you. It's in the uniform the state gives you to put on. Your power is in the wardrobe, not in you. 
Take the uniform off. Where's your power gone? Change your job. Where's your power gone? You're just animating a uniform which is an extension of the state. And you have children and grandchildren too. And they're going to have to live in the world that you're helping to bring in. Wake up. Grow up. And we need to come together, not just talk about it, but start organizing. Start organizing mass non-compliance, the non-comply dance. Dancing to a different drum. We're not having it anymore. And, and I'll finish on this. You know, people think, and this is how it, the system overcomes uh, the people so, so much, is people think that it's not my problem. It's not my child, it's not my freedom that's been taken away directly. It's not me having to knock on the door in the middle of the night saying we want your child. But it is. Because if we don't draw a line in the sand now, then it will be your child eventually. It will be you. What, what did they say? What did that pastor say? Uh, after Nazi Germany. First they came for the Jews and I was not a Jew so I did nothing. Then they came for the communists and I was not a communist so I did nothing. Then they came for the trade unionists and I was not a trade unionist and I did nothing. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. That is the road we're walking down. Anyone's injustice is our injustice. That's the only way to bring it into this. And I'll just say finally, uh, if you go to davidike.com, there's an archive of stories and background information about the state stealing children. It's called, it's called State Steal, Steal, Steals Children. And there's also um, an email address, statestealskidsandaol.com, where we're looking for stories and we're looking for experiences of particular psychologists and psychiatrists who are pulled out by the state, off the peg, out the wardrobe, Give us the verdict on this child or mother that we want. Thank you very much. See, Judge, she's crazy. See, Judge, she's been abused. See, Judge, she's not being abused. Whatever suits. We can change this situation because there are enormous numbers of us and a fraction of that number actually doing it. It's time to stand up. Stand up. Enough. Time to fly and have none of this crap any longer. We get it because we take it. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. I think it was Bill earlier on who was calling for the young men to come forward and fight. Fight this problem. Where are our young men supposed to be defending the country? Well, they are here. Here are the fighters against child abuse. I don't know their names, you'll have to tell me. <laughs>